Hey there, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We come bearing glad tidings of joy. Please tell someone to tell someone that the Flaming Sword Ministries International now has an app. Yes, we just launched an app where you and your loved ones can watch all our exciting and life-changing movies and talk shows for free. You heard right. It's absolutely free at no cost to you. The Flaming Sword Ministry app is completely personalized for you. It features our short and full-length movies, talk show programs, and music videos. It's user-friendly, easy to navigate, and the picture quality is top-notch, HD quality. Android users can download the app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download the app from the Apple App Store. What are you waiting for? Head on now to the App Store to download the app today. And remember to spread the word. God bless you. Hello, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We're back again with an exciting news for you. Have you ever wondered how nice it would be for you to be able to buy and download Flaming Sword books online from our own app? We have! And that's why we have just launched a Flaming Sword ebook store where you can purchase and download our daily drama devotional and other materials that will sharpen your spiritual mind and strengthen your walk with the Lord. The Flaming Sword Ministry online ebook app is completely personalized just for you. It is user friendly with no lags, drags, or annoying glitches. Android users and iPhone users, what are you waiting for? Please head on to your Google Play Store or App Store to download the app today. And remember, remember to spread the word. God bless you. remember goodness is not going to remain a child forever and I know that by the grace of God what you're going through right now this phase it will pass what happens when the children are grown and they leave the house it's just gonna be the two of you left alone and if care is not taken my dear you will create a lasting vacuum between you and your husband and I'm sure you don't want that I don't it's just that he makes advances to me at a bad time when he does I am usually exhausted and fucked out I work from home now so that I can devote more time to the house and seriously combining work with the kids has been so stressful for me in fact I had to let go of my nanny last month because we could no longer afford to pay her. There is so much going on with me and the last thing I need is additional tantrums from Bay. I'm tired. Leap, leap of faith. Oh God. Oh God. Child. 
isso nunca achei tão o quê? Uau, vai going through all this life without me to... To do that is all. You know what? Just look at me. I don't like seeing you like this. Just try as much as possible to pull yourself together there. Please. God is in control. Look at me. God is in control. Goodness will be fine, okay? Goodness will be fine. God. Man, look at me. Am I about to lose her? This is the same time she's having a crisis this month alone. My poor baby is lying in there. She's been pricked with all manner of needles. She's been subjected to different medical procedures just to have a chance at life. There is absolutely nothing that I can do to help alleviate her pain. What kind of a mother am I? What kind of a mother am I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't waste taking too long in there. I must not lose my child. Lord, help me. I must not lose my child. You know what says in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 14? That whatsoever you do abides forever. Nothing can be taken away and nothing can be added. Help me, Lord. Oh, God. Ah, for the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been ashamed. Therefore, I will set my face like a flint before you, and I know that I will not be ashamed. Lord, help me. I don't want to lose my child. I don't want to lose my child. <laughs> she's gonna be fine. Yeah, she just went through some undue stress, and that was the reason she passed out. But she's stable now, and um, we did have to give her some blood, uh, about two units, and um, she's stable now. So I'll have the nurse come take you to go see her. Oh, thank you very much, doctor. She would, she would be fine. Just take it easy, okay? You want to have your seat? You need some. Leap, leap on faith. Welcome back, viewers. The story you just heard is a testimony of a marriage and a love that has weathered the storm of life, but is still standing. In case you're just joining us today, I'd like to welcome you to your favorite TV show, A Love Beyond the Storm Show. And today's episode is a very special one. Here with us, I have Mr. and Mrs. Brown. A couple who has gone through what I like to call the fire of marriage, but came out without smoke. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. And before we went on a short commercial break, a member of the audience had just asked Mrs. Brown a very critical question. Our question was, is it okay for two sickle cell carriers to marry each other? In response to that, Mrs. Brown shared the story of a marital journey with us. Ma'am. You may continue from where you start. Thank you so much. Surprisingly, I have never been moved to share our story in its entirety with anyone before. But since it's our 10th year wedding anniversary tonight, I thought it was the best time to let the world in on all the challenges that my husband and I have had to go through because we decided to take a leap of faith in a very unrealistic situation. My husband and I, are still battling some challenges but we thank god for his grace which has sustained us thus far we thank god for keeping his goodness and his perfect gifts with us yeah my wife has said it all i would like to just use this opportunity to thank god for the good people he has placed in our lives these are people who stood with us and prayed with us even through the fierce storm of our marriage. <sighs> I would like to start by appreciating our pastor, who also happens to be our mentor. I believe they are turned into this program as we speak. Thank you so much, Pastor Richard and Tokumba Ongoso, for standing with us in prayer 
and for your consistent support through all this year. I want to specially appreciate her parents, Helda and Dickiness Downsey. People of God, I have to tell you that having a solid support system in one parent is one of the best blessings a person can have in life. Daddy and Mommy, I'm sure you're watching this program, but something ba always baffles me. You know, throughout these years, I've waited to hear from both of you say that we told you not to get married. I stand here today to say we never heard that from you, and we really appreciate you both for never putting it to our faces that you warned us against getting married. You supported us in every way. You supported us financially, morally, and even spiritually. May the Lord lengthen your days. A big amen to that. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing such a beautiful story. Mm. It is indeed a beautiful and an encouraging testimony. But just before we wrap up the show today, I'll, I have one question for you both. If you were to summarize the last 10 years of your marriage in a sentence, or a mantra people can live by, what would that be? Trust, trust God. God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so both of you have the same answer, yes. trust God. Seriously, uh, you just have to trust God in every situation. At first, I have to say the truth, I was afraid of going into a very uncertain marriage. A marriage where I knew that my wife and I literally have to walk hand in hand with God. It was scary, but I thank God for my wife. She continued to encourage me, even when I was at the verge of letting go. Now our twins are nine years old, and we're so thankful for their lives. Oh yes we are. In addition to what my husband has said, something else I would like to add is this. If you must leap, leap with God. Don't leap alone. 2 Samuel 22 30 says, For by you I run through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. Whatever it is that you are going through, as long as you hold on tightly to God, you will get to the finish line. That's true. Now, to the young lady who asked that question, I am not going to tell you to go ahead and marry that young man. <laughs> Neither am I going to encourage you to say no to his marriage proposal. But I hope that through the wisdom of God and by the discernment of the Holy Spirit, you would have gotten your answer in my testimony. I am sure she has. Leap, leap of faith. Thank you, sir and ma. It's been a delight having you on the show today. But well, finally, because the show is centered on the strength and beauty of marriage that has weathered the storm of life and are still standing. We usually like to end the show with an affirmation of love from couples to each other. And so at this point, we would like you both to just reaffirm your love to one another. I've been actually looking forward to this part. Then you can go ahead, please. Mabel. Holuadu Meninu. Yes. My dooms dooms. Yes. For Lasha de Brown. Mm -hmm. Marrying you is the best decision I have made after salvation. Thank you for being my wife mm -hmm. and for being strong for us all through this year. I love you with all my being. And I love you too. I absolutely enjoy doing life with you. And I trust that God will keep us together for many, 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 many more years to come. Amen. Amen. I love that. Thank you so very, very much. 